The Forbidden Lands are here, and they are indeed part of Quendor. So they could have been in ruins for a long time, while the rest of Quendor was just functioning as usual. And here's Iron Dune. So I think that would confirm we're not on the planet Mars. Here is where the orb goes. Nemesis, you'll have to stand in for the sun for a few minutes, okay? The question is, now what? Oh, now we can spin him around. Um, where, what are we doing? What? What's going on? Did, there was a pool of wa water? Huh? Wait, what? Where are we? What is this? We're in a... What does this have to do with the planetarium? Is that a tank? Wait a minute. Is that, um, Mars? Is this Mars? Is that what where we are? Mars doesn't look like this, but then again, I suppose this is MERS. So these... These alchemists were actually traveling to other planets? Or it's probably just some facility somewhere modeled to... ...to look like other planets, but there's a battle going on? What? It makes sense, this is... Mars is a war deity. I'm not sure why we can just open that. Okay, this is bad. There's a battle going on. This is not good. If soldiers find us in here, who knows what could happen? Well, they'll probably kill us. What's this? A broken sword. Anything else? I guess not. There appears to... I'm not sure. I can't tell what I'm looking at. Huh? Well, whatever it is, we can't pick it up. And this is a statue of a dog. What? A mechanical statue of a dog? Oh, it's a cannon! This seems foolish. Bones? Uh, not human, I hope, but they're pretty small. I suppose they're stuck. Well, so much for loading the cannon. Though I'm not sure why we would, I mean, we just fire it at the ceiling. In any case, I don't think there's actually a battle going on. I think it's just some kind of hallucination? Or something? I'm not sure. Do you have a better word for it? I hear is a... It appears that this soldier is leading back a captured slave. And this is just another martial painting. All martial, all the time around here, huh? Broken sword. This door cannot be opened. It probably can, I mean it's a door, but it's locked. And on this side we have more martial paintings. They're trying to make it look glorious, but it's not. The old lie, dulce et decorum est pro patria mori. Anyway, what do we... Guess we'll just look through all these chambers, huh? What a strange looking image. 
He has a Z on top of his scepter, but the picture looks kind of like it's been squashed. Very peculiar. You know, this might be a good time to save. What else do we have around here? Other rooms, I guess. I mean, we have this knight that we couldn't get through that door. Oh, here's another statue of a knight. Nothing in his head either. Maybe it's a metaphor for how soldiers are thoughtless and they simply go out to murder. Is this... Yeah, this is a stairwell, all right. This is a huge facility here. These alchemists, I mean, this can't be for that one guy. He's living in luxury if it is. Can we pick it with this? Yeah, I didn't think so. I figured we need a key. Photographs? Huh? They have cameras? Well, I suppose if they're capable of space travel, of course they would. Another tapestry. I'm beginning to think that this Kane fellow, he was the fire alchemist, right? Is not a, or an earth alchemist. Is not a guy I would like very much. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have a dagger and paper. Dear Kane, I've long dwelt on the power of air, but not considered it as a source of purification. At such veloc oh, it's a at such velocities as your blueprints describe, I feel sure it would tear impurities from even the very c the very core of evil. I'm certain, but the purest metal could withstand it. Destruction or purity, a perfect solution. Still, I have some misgivings. Before air, your plans suggest the simultaneous combination of forces of, fi of fire, water, and earth. This must necessarily be an explosive combination, but not an impossible problem. I have long experimented with injection... with injection molding for limb replacement. What? I think they're talking about prosthetics, but what does that have to do with air for purification. In any case, as long as the mold is inserted into the case holding before applying heat, my experiments have been successful, Sartorius. Okay. The joy of encryption. Everyone forgets a code now and then. The best secret is the secret you don't have to hide. Um... In a battle between mathematicians and magic, magic will always have the upper hand. Oh, okay. Great. That's not true at all. The, the opposite of that is true in the real world. So there's a code we're gonna need, huh? And it's hidden in plain sight. Great. More books. The New Blood Alchemists. Reaching beyond the fifth essence? Oh, they're doing alchemy with blood? Or is it like these alchemists are new blood, as in they're inexperienced? Vain puffers who spend too much time in the bellows seeking our sacred science slight banker's craft. Sifting through vile ashes, fool's gold in thy fingers, what okay. Uh wait, true alchemy careth not for the gold of this small place. He that hath everything needeth nothing. When the air and the terra, the aqua and the ignis, the molten and their metals, and the one element that maketh them whole, then what is wrong shall be made right, what is unknown become known, what is lost shall be found. For this is the corpus glorifica uh, glorificationes, the elixir of life, the end to all. Well, whatever. Uh, let's just take a look at here, the four elements. The four elements correspond to the four humors. The fire is the yellow bile cholera. The air is the blood sanguis. The water is the phlegm uh, 
Paduita? I think that's what that says. This text is... Well, this is obviously easier to read because it's print, but in any case... And the earth is the black bile melancholia. Of these four humors, we know... Uh, we know blood reigns as the element primordial. The blood of man is a reservoir of nourishment both spiritual and substantial, and it is the work of the blood to meet such nourishments from head to heart, quickening the dead bones, the raising the vile body to the sphere of the immortal soul. In the purification of the blood lies the purification of all things. In the worth of the blood lies the worth of all things, in the cost of the blood is the cost paid for all things. There is only this way and none other. In this bloody fifth element. And that's it. What about uh, this book? Photos. They actually do have photos. I am genuinely I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, I just saw photos. This is taking place in a modern times equivalent. Is there nothing else to it? I mean, there's this woman, who I suppose is his wife, or was, and this must be his son, who the nemesis murdered. Temperature at which you attempt to cast the metal. Casting at too cool of a temperature is useless. Casting with too intensive a heat can have fatal results. Of which proof is my recently destroyed laboratory in Fenshire. What's this metal? Well, in any case... So he's been granted knighthood. So Cain and Elrond dispute turns to war. So he was a general in addition to an alchemist. Uh, fight crops... No, fight crops... Co what does that say? Fight something over border regions lying between former Aragain and Desert River Province. They give a date. Oh, here we go. Sorry. So, yeah, fight erupts over border regions lying between former Aragain and Desert River Province, Mage 20, 1924. Or, 924. Mage, really, instead of March. In any case, there's Kane, so I was right, this is Kane's place. So, there's... So, Lord Elrond and Kane have had... have been feuding for a long time. And... And he has created a lethal ore called Thadium, so some sort of chemical warfare. And Elrond, in allegiance with the guilds of the Westlands, has been rumored to have purchased a lethal scroll from Wizard Bilbaz? Okay, so it's like a magic versus magic thing? The results of this never-ending feud should have a major impact on Siovar and whether his empire is able to expand and unite the entire Zork lands. And here is when he was granted knighthood. He doesn't have his dog in that photo. Thaddeus Kane of Desert River Province, famous for his battle against the barbarian hordes, was granted knighthood today in an elaborate ceremony at Siovar's palatial estate in Aragain. Siovar annotated Thaddeus... no, anointed Thaddeus Kane to the applause of various well-wishers, including Sophia Hamilton of the Desert River Branch Conservatory and Francois Melvaux noted author of the Brogmold Fallacies. Oh, I think we saw that book. In the name of the rightful and unified kingdom of Zork, Ziovar thanked General Cain for his... Okay. Well, in any case, no wonder he has a big castle like this. He's a respected person in the military. Actually, no, let's take some more look at the photos. We have these stories from newspapers. Anything else? Is this the end of the book? It would seem so. But hold on, they said the easiest code is when you don't have to hide. Maybe it's these numbers? In any case, I guess I'm just gonna have to write down every set of numbers I see and hope one of them works. For whatever code we need, I'm not even sure what it might be. So seven, Nine, two, three. 
is the code on this particular page. And on the next page, it's, uh, 2924. So not that long after he was made general, only like a year, he was already starting a war. And this one has some L has numbers in it too. I mean, it's chapter five. No, it's a book with five in the title, and this is chapter six, the four elements. And then it lists off, here are the four humors. Are there numbers on this page? Um, no, but I'm going to write down this number too, just to be safe. So five, six, four, four is what I'm gonna say it corresponds to. Maybe just five, six, four. It's hard to know when we haven't even seen what we might need a combination for yet. Oh, does he have like an ashtray? I'm not sure what that is. It could just be a rubbish bin for the documents he's writing and throws out because they're not good enough or something. And this door is locked and we're not interested in it. Order more nitro. Nitro? What, what the heck? Why can we zoom in on- Oh, wait, hold on, we walked forward. I was a little confused for a moment. He doesn't want to open this door, which might be the door to a dresser anyway. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be much back here. Um, hmm. A lot of books. Cain was a well-read man. Another one of these rooms. And... Oh wait, no, we're just back out here. In any case, it's yet another suit of armor. Why can we adjust the visors? I'm sure it'll play into something down the line. He's haunted by his war crimes then, huh? Maybe he really isn't such a good guy. Hmm. Well, this room is rather dark. They have a pool table, though. Huh. I feel so sort of disoriented all the time. What's this? Oh, he has a foosball table. Well, I don't know what I expected that to accomplish. Bye. A portrait, or not a portrait, but some kind of wall hanging displaying various um, uh, insignias, or not insignias, what are those called? Seals? The point is they're probably various noble families. Oh wait, they actually do have a pool table. What in the world? Is it automated? Wait, hold on, what? Am I seeing things or is there a light flashing here? I guess I might be seeing things. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, this is his code. His code is, uh... This really is in plain sight. Forget those other numbers. One, seven, four, three, five... Nine white ball or cue ball, I guess I should say. I'm gonna say that the cue ball stands in for zero or nothing at all, baby. Not the symbolic representation of nothing through zero, but literally nothing. Um, one. Not sure what this is here for. Does it change the layout of the balls? Wait, what? I'm very, very lucky that I looked at it before messing up the order of the numbers. But what a weird mechanism. I mean, what the heck is that for? 
First button, candles and broomsticks. Second, shaving a cat. Third, fishing in the desert. Fourth, triple splitter. And the fifth is shoot. Well, okay, I say we go shave a cat. Oh, I get it. If you put in the correct tools, it'll do these things. Well, we don't have those tools. It sounds like Kane might have had a sense of humor back when he was alive. He also seemed to be the only one of the alchemists who really felt guilty about his crimes. Although, for all we know, none of the other ones really did anything that bad. It's hard to say because we just have no idea. Hmm. Another statue of a knight. This one has a shield. And it's still, or I keep saying it's not a statue of a knight at all, it's a suit of armor. Gosh, mackerel phones. Get your facts straight. I feel like we've looked around this whole place. And I wanna say we haven't found anything? Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh wait, no, this is the lift. From here, the uh, lever looks sort of like a giant chess piece. I could see it as a pawn. Maybe those patterns on the walls are actually uh, knights, I don't know. Can we do anything with this door? Oh! Good Lord, who are you? Never mind, stay inside. The hordes nearly broke through. Castle's deserted. I'm the only one left. But I won't desert General Kane. <laughs> Not this bloke. What are you grinning at, eh? Wait, the battle is actually going on! There's only one soldier left? How is he holding them off? This is bad. We need to get out of here. Or we're gonna end up dead too. We're certainly a jerk for smiling at him though. I mean, because we know his boss is dead? This is bad. This is bad. But is this battle really going on? Or is this some kind of illusion? Or representation of what once was here? This building is enormous! He was interested in painting, too? Well, it's very possible it wasn't really him who was interested in painting. It's very possible that he just had other people living here. Maybe he had a tenant who was a painter, for example. I could see it. Um... Oh wait, a violin! We've seen one of those before in the lab. In any case, I mean, it's a, it's, you know, it's an okay painting. Um... Okay, scattered stuff. Okay, we have this. Okay, so it's another letter. Oh god, Alexandria wrote? She... She wrote in papyrus? Well, okay. So Lucian, you're right. Something is going on. We must leave. I wrote father telling him everything and asking him to marry us Father will miss me, but he'll understand. We will escape to the Westlands. I'm not frightened Lucian. I know everything will be all right if I'm with you. Does that sound childish? I've never felt more a woman and I am as always your Alexandria So between two of their kids there was a romance going on Lucian, I love you have I written you that today? You, you wrote him every day? How fast did the letters work? How, how fast did the letters get delivered? In any case, so Lucian lived here, and Lucian was a painter. Uh, I'm distracted and playing quite horribly. I've been having the nightmares again, the same ones. My father is performing some Zoroastrian, or Z Zorkastrian. Really? Yeah, really! Some Zorkastrian fire ritual. And the flames leap up higher and higher until they devour him. He screams in pain, but I cannot move. Then the sky grows dark, and I cannot see the sun. I don't know what the... 
I don't know what it means. I know I worry as his illness worsens. Come tonight, I am afraid, Alexandria. And then we have this thing. What is this? Is this a ticket? Can we take it? I guess not. Hundreds dead in Thadium explosion. Wait, Thadium was a nuclear bomb? Okay, it changes this. No wonder this guy felt guilty. I take it back, this guy's like behind everything wrong in the world. In a blast of heat and fury, Thaddeus Research Facility Number 2 disappeared this morning, taking much of the idyllic village of Stonehead with it. Company officials continue to deny any connection between the company and the blast, saying, as you know, as should be capitalized, probably, as you know, it's been several centuries since we sacrificed a virgin to the fire gods. We were due for this one. Yeah, guys, you know, come on. Critics, on the other hand, point to the smoking remnants of Facility Number 1 and the strange mineral Thadium, which eyewitnesses claim to have been smuggled in under the cover of night. So they actually did do human sacrifice, huh? Why well, he's got his artistic equipment, his kneaded erasers, some kind of hammer for... I suppose for... beating... for sculpting. Clay, brushes, squeezed tubes of paint and a lamp. So what happened? Did Nemesis just come in and kill him? In what way was he... Were, were he and Alexandria causing a problem for Nemesis? Oh. What's this? Gunpowder. Well, this is what we need for that cannon, right? And another letter. Lucian, I have decided that you will be joining me on the hunt next week. I think you'll come to appreciate the art of the sport. We don't have much time to prepare. You don't seem to have any kind of knife of your own, so I thought you might make something of my old broken one. There is no scabbard for it. Only empty, or any empty one will do. Kane. So Kane was... So I get the impression Lucian was like a artist, and Lucian didn't want to be a hunter-warrior guy like his father. And, um, consequentially... Whoa, whoa. Inconsequentially, he was rather unhappy with things. What's this odd? We have a mirror image of the painting, but what's this? Draft notice for Lucian. I see. He was drafted, and to avoid the draft, he was going to um, uh, el elope with Alexandria. Interesting. Come to think of it, that painting is probably a painting of Alexandria. Uh, anyway. Weird. So that's Alexandria, huh? That figure in the back might be a man, I'm not sure. If it is, I bet you that that is Alexander. Or, what am I saying? <laughs> Alexander, that is Lucian. I'm sorry, because you know her name's Alexandria, and Alexander is a male form of Alexandria. And the city of Alexandria was named that after Alexander the Great, who was named Alexander. Um, anyway. What the heck are we gonna do? Can we go through that door there? I have a feeling the answer is no. Uh, no. No. No, we can't. Oh, a book. How do we get into a position to look at that book? Can we? Even? Whoa, oh. No, I don't think we can, unless we can get to it from in front of this, from this spot where there's a lot to be seen. Uh, I don't think so, no. It's a shame, really. I mean, Lucian seems like he was a good guy and the nemesis killed him. As if we needed more evidence that the nemesis was a terrible person. Okay, so we've now, I think, looked around in all the rooms. We did get gunpowder. Now, as for what we're gonna do with it, I don't know. We'll probably use it in that dog cannon. But why? What do we have to gain from doing that? 
In any case, I bet you that guy outside who's still fighting for us is using some kind of, uh... I'm not quite sure what to call it. But he's using artillery is what he's using. I have a feeling that there's a lot of advanced artillery like this in this place. And that's what we're, um, uh, you know, what we're seeing. So now we'll open up the dog's ass. Because, I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. You know when, when he was building this thing, he was probably thinking about that. Or maybe he wasn't. It's hard to tell with some of these guys. Are we just going to shoot out bones? By the way, you might the fact that that soldier observed we were smiling confirms that we're a corporeal being. So we are probably levitating. Okay, that blew up a door. Oh, I get it. These doors were sealed. And now we can see what's back here. Is this some kind of secret war room? Hold on, what did that say? It says, the Battle of Fort Crif Crifalter. I bet it's like the Battle of Red Cliff. I mean, look at the boats, the little, uh, well anyway, let's take a look at this. He has models that reenact the battles? Really? I can't deny it's kind of interesting, but I'm surprised. What is this room? It's just... Just... Battle reenactment boards? Or they're not reenactment boards. What am I, heck am I even talking about? People who do historical reenactments, they have a hobby and that's fine. But yeah, these are just... Tables where you might do strategy. What are these red things? The most famous battle of our time. The oh. Battle of Flood Control Dam Number 3 ended the Barbarian Rebellion and Uprising. General Kane, then Second Lieutenant Colonel, using his enemy's prime weakness against them, decided he needed a distraction to allow him to carry out his final solution plan. He sent a party of troops to a high mountain where they made considerable noise, bewildering the Barbarians as to the intent of the exercise. I see. It's like a museum. Yet it's sealed away in here, perhaps because he considers it very important? And he didn't want the barbarians they're fighting outside to get in. I don't like the sounds of a final solution plan, though. While the barbarians were conveniently enthralled with the noise, Cain prepared for their destruction by lining the inside of his forces with matchsticks he found in a lobby of the dam. That night, when the barbarians attacked, Cain ordered his center to fall back against his flanks. The barbarian army poured through the gap in his lines. Cain then lit his prepared matches, illuminating the center of his horseshoe position. Too late, the barbarians tried to retreat, only to be trapped against the dam and destroyed by the light. He burned some of them to death and let the rest get shot like fish in a barrel. Maybe he does have reason to feel guilty then. I mean, he's killed a lot of people, hasn't he? I guess so. What? Huh? Can't hear you! Over the water! Huh? Let's get out of here. That exhibit was not well designed. So here we have the maneuver at Stonewall. I believe they were talking about this earlier, so that's probably the enemy encampment, the ones in the yurts. In 747, Stonewall Flathead was the first to use the massive fane as a brilliant military tactic. 
in the maneuver at Stonewall, for which the military Flathead derived his nickname, Flathead had learned that the opposing forces had taken the old fort as its principal headquarters. Flathead realized that a straight-on attack would cause many of his wealthier trained soldiers to perish. Dividing his army, he attacked directly with his small band of peasant conscripts, while his trained soldiers circled and attacked from the rear smaller wall. I see. So this isn't all about Kane's military victories. This is history. This is Flathead. Was Flathead that deranged lord who... We read that excerpt from his book about how people should, uh... What was it? Have a 100% tax rate or something? So that he could build his own ocean? The tactic was a complete success and resulted in total surprise. Unfortunately, the information about the old fort was wrong, and the opposing forces had not taken the wall or its fort. When the smaller army appeared at the battlement so quickly and without a fight, the conscripts mistook the elite brigade for the enemy. This was unfortunate for the peasants, as the elite brigade was both well-named and vengeful. The vast majority of the peasant army was soon slaughtered. Nonetheless, had the enemy in fact been there, the strategy would surely have been a successful one. That's a ridiculous thing to say! That's... that's terrible! This isn't like a famous battle, this was a catastrophe! That's a, like a national humiliation! What is that doing here? Is there a common denominator between these battles? Well, we better look at these quick before we die. Although I'm not sure there's a battle going on outside. We flew over that desert and didn't see a single soldier. I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like we're not exactly in reality. So let's take a look at the Yipple Rebellion. Dundor of Grimmelhans, 466, led one of the great and early battles of the Empire. At Galapath, Dundor bravely crushed the rebellion of Yipples, much larger and more powerful than those described in the Sorcerer Packaging. He employed a unique strategy. Faced with heavy fortifications, Dundor ordered his cavalry to advance up the far side of the river. Although the river was too dangerous to ford, Dundor built a bridge under darkness. Oh! A lot of real-life generals have done that sort of thing. The Yipples were taken completely by surprise as the cavalry was no longer held back by the torrential waters. Okay. That actually is a pretty good strategy this time. That wasn't like the catastrophe described in the previous one. That is the sort of thing a clever commander would do. Now, personally, I believe that... Now, I don't know enough about background here, so I guess I shouldn't say whether I think these wars were justified or not. I have no idea. Wait, battle in progress? Hold on. Before we look at that, what's this one? The Diablo Massacre? What is Mephisto involved? In this scene, Duncan Thrax shows his daring, cunning, and ruthlessness. The natives had held the larger army at bay for some time, but Duncan Thrax had a plan. He began by making a feign with his vanguard, attacking the heavily entrenched enemy. After a short skirmish, the brave general ordered a hasty retreat. The natives, imagining victory was within their grasp, began a pell-mell pursuit. Duncan Thrax led the natives through the pass and into the plains beyond. And there, his waiting army closed on the chaotic horde and destroyed them. Chaotic Horde. 
somehow I have a feeling that um they really were probably indefensibly slaughtering the natives. That's how these things normally go. And once the natives fight back, they just massacre them. But I guess it's all the same. But this battle in progress, do you mean the one going on outside? What the heck is this? That can't be Kane. Who's there? Get away from the equipment, you hungus. You hungus? Oh. I see, here we can put in the code. Wait a minute, the code goes up into two digits? Well, what we can say for sure is based on the billiard balls, this will be a no number there because that's where the cue ball was. Now, we have one, seven, four, three, five, nine, and we have one, two, three, we have five slots here, and more than five numbers. So the question is, how do we know which numbers go into a two-digit pair and which don't? Well, I guess what we need to do is see how high up the counter goes. This is clearly some sort of military code. I have a feeling we're just talking to that guy we saw at the door. Okay, so it goes up to 14. So in that case, the first one will be one. The next one will be seven, I think. One, seven, and then, well, hold on. There's not room then, because the next one would have to be 35, like three, 35, nine. Okay, never mind. The number I have couldn't possibly be the code. Okay, back to the, back to the billiard table. I see he was just an intellectual who was studying past uh, w battles in history for their strategic, you know, for what he could learn from them. Uh, okay, back to the top of the stairs. Very top, tippy tippy top. Here we are. Where is the pool table and his bar here? This door, it doesn't open, right? Oh, no. No, it doesn't. All right. I suppose we just need to get these pool balls to a combination that works. Like, that it could be input into the machine. So here, so four, seven, uh, that's one. Those are two slots taken. 13, so three slots. Nine, five, nothing. So how many slots would that be? That would be uh, one, two, three, four, four, five, six slots. You know, I already realized that I forget how many slots there are. I am find that kind of embarrassing. Uh, you might think it's ridiculous for him to hide a code in this way, but that would explain why this is automated. It's automated because that way he can be sure the cue balls will only end up in a certain position. Or the pew balls, or the pool balls. The Q ball is just the white ball. Look, who do you think I am? Okay, I'm not like Minnesota Fats. I'm mackerel phones. I see, so there are only two possible combinations. It must be the second one then, because the first one was impossible. So there must be six digits available to input the code with. War is terrible. I hate it. Um... I recognize, though, that there are occasions when violence is necessary. But re really, right now, we're probably not thinking about that. We're probably thinking, how do we stay alive so that the nemesis doesn't kill us? Or do worse to us, as the case may be. All right. Now let's uh, put this in. So the first digit is four. Uh, the second digit is seven. Glad that worked out. 13. Uh, oh dear. Well, I guess the 
the cue ball just doesn't factor in because there aren't actually enough slots to account for that being a blank slot. So I'm going to assume none of them are blank. The joy of cryptography. That can't be Kane. Who's there? Get away from the equipment, you hungus. Oh. Apparently, I know we're in a rush here, but there is some stuff in uh, Kane's room that I missed. Okay, here we are. He has this note skewered on a letter opener. Or that's not a letter opener, those are... I forget what these are called, they're what they put receipts on at restaurants. I guess that he has one for personal use. Or did. Kane. Oh, it's from Elron. The uh, lord who he's been feuding with. Your pathetic attempts to harness the lethal magic of Thadium were futile. The guild is now supporting my cause, and we have something far more powerful than Thadium. In five years, your precious Iron Dune will be nothing more than dust blowing in a wasteland, and your men as weak and womanish as your own Lucian. I see, these guys very much subscribe to what I suppose they might call, uh, in sociology, toxic masculinity. You know, it's all about fighting and aggression, whereas they're not willing to accept uh, Lucian's different display of masculinity as like a painter. Five brave fellows stand, guard over my dungeon. Three are blind, two can see, but as a whole, they form the key. Well, that seems like something worth remembering. So that explains the knights. I guess we have to change some things about their, you know, so three are blind, so their visors are closed and two can see. What was he thinking when he designed it like this? I mean, this must be pretty inconvenient for him and the servants. Well, you'd think. Maybe he doesn't have any servants. He might not. He strikes me as the kind of guy who might take offense at the idea of having servants. And it's not like we've seen any servants' quarters anyway. Anywhere. We haven't seen him anywhere anyway. And what's this little thing? Nitro? Take it. It's probably going to be used to activate a bomb. See, I missed his desk. General Kane, I have been made aware of the presence of Thadium in your vicinity and of a particular invention which may assist me in my battles. Whatever you require to fund your experiment, I will gladly provide Siobar, Vice Regent in General of the Royal Quindoran Army. Now ah, that's right, the country's called Quindor. Uh, the, Chant the Enchanter's Guild has formed a coalition and I am losing control of the Westlands. Lord Elrond is under their control. I can no longer rely on the magic of the scroll. Captain, I'm missing 20, sto 20 sacks of gunpowder. How can I defeat my enemies abroad when Iron Dune itself is not secure? Look into it. So he declined to go help them because he was out of gunpowder. We found a bag of gunpowder in his son's room. Wait a minute, did Lucian like mutiny against his father? Huh. Well, in any case, I noticed there is a sword down here. Um, is there any way we can get it? Oh, I see. Wait a minute. I can't tell. Is that a soldier who's, like, sitting down in a sort of unconscious pose? Or probably dead. Well, in any case, I could have sworn I saw a sword leaning against the wall. Am I... Am I did I... Am I seeing things? No, see, there it is. Right there. But I go over here, and it's gone. Huh? Is it an optical illusion? I... Maybe? I'm not honestly sure. So here are the photos of his, um... Well, I don't know who that is. Or I guess that's probably Lucian. 
and that's his wife. Although that photo has been horribly, like, smushed to fit in that frame. But they don't have computers. How did he smush it? They don't have, like, Photoshop. Well, whatever. Personally, I would not feel secure with, um, halberds and an axe over my head. Okay, a book. Five Oracle. I don't know what to make of Lucian's odd behavior. Painting pictures of naked women and then hiding them on his own easel. He's becoming a man with a man's free will, but what of my missing gunpowder and supplies? Am I to tolerate insurrection in the name of my son's independence? It seems if he wants nothing better than to irritate me. Much more of this, and I will be forced to send him to his mother in Antheria. Antheria? And also, he's hardly hiding the naked women on his easel. They're displayed on his easel. It's art. So clearly, he didn't have much sympathy for his son. Or, well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. He didn't He didn't approve of his son, but he was clearly thinking, like, you know, he's, he's independent and he has a right to be what he's like. Uh... Can we not get the dagger? Uh, no. And here we have these letters again from Sartorius talking about blowing uh, wind to purify people. And another locked door. What do we have? We have this, nitro. Neither of those strike me as things would be very helpful here. Although I'm not entirely sure what nitro is. Is it like gunpowder? Okay, this time I'm more confident that I've seen everything in here, although, of course, there's still the matter of this sealed chest. This will be useless, and this will be useless. Oh, we blew it up! Just the size to fit in the lock, huh? It's full of books! And some sealed documents. It doesn't appear they've been opened. Look, the wax seals are still sealed. So, breaking the siege of Iron Dune. Okay, so where we are is Iron Dune. Destroy cannons and. Okay, so he was f he was an Iron Dune fighting against this foreign lord Elrom. And I suppose I don't know how did he get from here to being in that castle in the Forbidden Lands. And is the Forbidden Lands this country? Quendor? I think is what it was called, right? Is Quendor the Forbidden Lands? But it used to be lived in? Or is the Forbidden Lands, are they part of Quendor? Or did Cain and the other alchemists leave Quendor and go into the Forbidden Lands? Iron Dune being a part of Quendor. I really don't know. Wait. What's that say? Something, something, uh, something through something to something, something. No, I, ca I can't read this, his handwriting. And like that, I just can't read that text. It's just a little bit... You probably think I'm, like, how can how am I blind? How can I not see what it says? But I can't read that. But here we can see he's building bridges um, and making decoys. I guess he's learning from those past battles he's been studying. And what about... We still didn't break the wax signet ring, really. Well, it's not the signet ring. It's the seal of a signet ring. If you don't know how they used to use um, uh, seal letters like that, they wore a signet ring. So it's what you would use instead of, say writing your signature as we might today and you would seal the note up with some molten wax and press the ring into it and that ring was your uh, probably family seal and here's the east lands of Quendor I assume well I guess this answers our question the forbidden lands are here and they are indeed part of Quendor so, they could have been in ruins for a long time, while the rest of Quindor was just functioning as usual. And here's Iron Dune. 
So I think that would confirm we're not on the planet Mars. We're just a little bit, uh, a little bit west from the Forbidden Lands. And where do you think... I have a feeling that then the planetarium is somehow going to teleport us to places that were important and pr probably lived in by these other alchemists. So, Sophia and Sartorius and, uh... I forget the other one's name. Besides Cain, of course. Flathead Ford. So Lord Flathead was somewhere up north. In either case, I'm beginning to think... Wait a minute. So these are forbidden lands, and these are forbidden lands. There are multiple forbidden lands. I bet we're in this one because these appear to be not forested. What else do we have here? Line of fire. Um, and of course we have this letter right here. General, I have found some items pertinent to your collection. The most remarkable weapons of assassination, a sword that masks as a snake, and a clever cannon disguised as a cat. Lord Flathead himself commissioned the managers of arms to show that his compassion for animals runs as deep as his nature is violent. I will arrange a showing at your convenience. Sincerely, M.K. Frobsworth. You know, I think this Lord Flathead sounds like a real waste of skin. Oh, God. Okay, so this was October 16th, 9.30. Dearest Thaddeus, I lie here in my bed and I listen to the poetics and I miss you. Damn, Elrond. I know you are fighting for what you believe in. I hate him for what he's done to you, and I hate him even more for keeping you from me. But still, there are those I hate more. I'm so jealous. Thaddeus, you can pick up a sword and gore your enemy in the name of all you love. My enemy is... is bosomy and soft-spoken, and she wears a dress and sleeps in your bed, my heart. Would that I could be your wife, that we could have a family, something more than stolen, than stolen moments, this lost life of mine. I cling to our dear mad doctor and his dreams of oblivion. For an eternity with you, I will endure all his pretentious, all his, all his pretentious alchemical trumpetings, and I'm not sure what that word is. Something Lady Canes and a hundred Elrons. As ever, Sophia. So Sophia was in love with him and envied him his wife, huh? I see then that these alchemists had long standing bonds with each other before all this hell broke loose. And here's more from, from Sophia. I know you probably think it's really ridiculous I can't read this, but I'm not good at reading atypical fonts or people's handwriting. For all the reading I do, I'm really not. Now, I can read this, which is more than I can say about, say, standard cursive from, I don't know, the 19th century. Or even from the 1960s. I once was reading um, uh, letters that were uh, sent from people fighting in Vietnam in the Vietnam War to people back home in the United States, some, you know, American soldiers, and I found these letters almost entirely incomprehensible. I couldn't read a lick of it. People just don't write like that anymore. I suppose it's because we have computers now. But anyway, uh, Kane, I read about Elrond and his alliance with the Enchanter's Guild, and I wept for you. These are dangerous times, and I will not sleep until all those who mean you harm are put to eternal rest. But I take heart, knowing that we are deciphering more secrets of this magical science with each new day. Soon, love, we will not worry about power. Sophia. Darling Thaddeus, crushed the barbarian hordes, and even the Grand Siovar seems content. Uh, congratulations on your recent victories, but take take heed upon your return. The battle is far from over. In your absence, Elrond has discovered a powerful scroll, and I'm scared. We're deep into the great work. 
If they learn of our secrets, the Enchanter's Guild and others will surely kill us. Sophia. I suppose that cannon we have that was uh, shaped like a... I thought it was a dog. Must have been from uh, Lord Flathead. But this is interesting. So these people were... I have a feeling that they were all involved in something very dangerous. They're probably prominent political figures. And... And then... This led them to want to be immortal. And, um... That's why they began researching the Philosopher's Stone. I guess something like that's going on. I'm not sure I see the direct connection. Um... In any case, we have the code. Let's put it in and see what happens. As for why we're doing this, I have no idea. This door is sealed, right? Yeah, it's sealed. I really hope that there really aren't barbarian legions outside and that it is just somehow some kind of magic illusion kind of thing going on. But I'm honestly becoming somewhat less than hopeful. Somewhat less than hopeful. Okay. Uh, no, not the Diablo Massacre. I'm beginning to think that my earlier theory that these people really are not good people might have been uh, completely spot on. Now, I can't be sure about this, of course. But at this point, I'm beginning to think Kane was not such a good guy, really. Okay, you see, my problem before is I thought it was 13, but really it was 1. That can't be Kane. Who's there? Get away from the equipment, you hungus. Or not. What did he just call us? You mungus? It's probably an insult that's, um, a Quindorian thing, so I wouldn't understand. He probably just called us a son of a bitch. He is a soldier. They're not known for, uh, speaking very civilly. And here, opposite his father's room, exactly, is Lucian's room. Apparently, I also missed something in here. Um, here we go. Yeah, it's canvas. It says, naked is the people he drew. Huh? What was that? Well, in any case, can we get onto the other side of his desk? Um... Maybe? No, we can't. Well, clearly whatever I missed has something to do with this easel. Oh, here we go. Are we going to... paint? Wait, Lucian? A vision of the past. Is this your imagination or your memory? The Archbishop will take a very dim view of your bedding his daughter. I want to marry her. Go ahead, amuse yourself if you must. For God's sake, be discreet. But remember this. She will never have your name. Ah, so this stuff somehow triggered a vision. Is it going to happen again? I guess so. Ah. Here we go. How the heck does this work? Is this like invisible ink? But how would it work like this? 
This is weird. Well, in any case, what does this say? It's, uh, numbers. I'm glad there was a walkthrough because I would not have probably noticed this. I might have accidentally caused this to happen. So there's going to be a coup d'etat. What the heck? Wait, wh what's this? Dig trenches? Coup d'etat? Latrine cleaning? Infiltrate and destroy? Was Lucian actually a military man after all? I was kind of hoping for better from him. You know, he's fighting the traditional order by both by uh, being a lover of the Archbishop's daughter and through, uh, I suppose. Come on, I want to see the whole letter. It might say build briage instead of build bridge. Wait, does it actually say build briage? What the heck does that mean? No, it says build bridge. Okay. What the heck? What is this? Is this his father's battle plan? He's not like... Lucian wasn't a general. He wouldn't... What's going on here? I'm not sure I understand. Wait, the easel reset? Yeah, we can't look at that one of the hand. That's fine, it's just a hand anyway. Well, um, huh. Can we... Is there anything else in here? I, I guess not, probably. Unless... Oh, hold on. He has a painting in the fireplace. I guess he didn't like that one too much, huh? Whoa, whoa. So Alexandria was the Archbishop's daughter. Wait a minute. So the Archbishop was one of the alchemists then. Which one was it again? Um, I don't remember. I know it wasn't Sophia, and clearly it wasn't Cain. I'm just gonna guess Sartorius. It's completely arbitrary, but I don't know, he just strikes me as the Archbishop type. And now for the big question. Do we know what we need to do? No, I'm totally lost right now. For most of this so far, I've had an idea about what to do, but I don't right now. Even with the hints from the walkthrough telling me to look at this stuff. Come to think of it. Poor Wanderer, don't give up. Your goal is close and the rewards are great. Thanks, my muse. Not really, that was useless. I mean, she tries her best, you know? Uh. Poor Wanderer. Don't give up. Yeah, Your goal she's not going to give us anything better. Are great. Okay. So here we are at this thing. And what do we need to do? I really have no idea. I have no idea. It has to be something with this. But the code we found earlier was not the code for this. So what's it the code for? Here we go. What? Well, let's take it. What? If we're not supposed to use this... Well, I guess we don't have any way to attach them, do we? But here is a sword hilt, and here is a sword. And we're not going to take the... Admittedly, it would be rather dangerous to just carry around the blade, although you could grab it in such a way that, you know, wouldn't cut you, but fine, I guess we're not going to do that. This is the first time I've just been stumped. It really is, in this game, I mean. I've been stumped for most of my life about most things, I guess. Are we sure about this? Come on. Come on! Oh! I guess we had to click in the right spot. Take it. Another vision? Take it! You should be with me. You belong by my side. Children draw pictures. Men fight. 
If you didn't sleep with the Archbishop's daughter, I wouldn't even know that you were a man. I don't want you to talk about her. Who? Your whore? Maybe I'll try her myself. Finish. I said... Finish it! The more I see of him, the more I think Kane was a very nasty guy. I still stand by what he said. He didn't deserve to be imprisoned in a state of living hell like he has been, but wow. Anybody who condemns someone for drawing pictures, I have no sympathy for. Who says, oh, you know, men should fight. I mean, really, what a backwards piece of garbage. I get that's the society he's in, I do. But I don't want to have any part of it. Now, according to the walkthrough, inexplicably, the sword's a key. Now, I don't know why he would have tried to give his son this sword if it's a key he needs to open a door. But what can you do? What can you do? We gotta get out of here. Oh, hold on, a gun? No, a crossbow. Well, that's one way to get us to not die, at least. We really might want to consider picking up a weapon for what good that'll do us when these, when the forces of this Sorcerer's Guild get in here. Or I get it, the Sorcerer's Guild is, unoffici is unofficially sponsoring uh, the the war efforts of Lord Elrond. And now we have all these stained glass windows, a knight, a... some other kind of knight, I suppose from Zork's equivalent of Japan, maybe. Uh, I can't quite get a good enough look on that one. He appears to be wearing armor of some kind. I see, they're just warriors from different eras and locations. Why can we look at them like this? Oh, I see. It's a, his face. I thought it might be a mask for a second. Something like Samurai used to wear. This is some sort of Centurion or Legionnaire. Or he looks like a official. He's, I'm going to say he's a Centurion. Cent Centurion. And yeah, that's clearly some kind of Samurai-like armor. And, uh... It's another night, okay. I think Kane was obsessed with war to a deeply troubling degree. He's like a maniac. What the heck is that? I, it might be a weapon for all I know. I mean, the craziest weapon I've ever seen is probably the meteor hammer, but that's a pretty ridiculous looking thing there, so. Gosh, there's some weapons that just seem so impractical. For example, this thing. But I'm sure if you knew how to use it, you could horribly mess people up with it. Another sealed door, and... Another visor we can adjust. The issue is that I know there are three are blind and two who can see, but I don't know which one is which. Wait a minute, is that Kanji? On the... On the armor? Probably, but I can't read them because they're very pixely. I probably wouldn't recognize them anyway. Uh, why do they always have this age of the future? As if they can see stuff from the future? Is the future happening now? Do they define future differently? Or maybe it's like a Tomorrowland kind of deal. What the? 
Another one of these strange three-bladed weapons, the Age of Barbarity. So these are the sorts of weapons the enemy is using. Although at this point I'm beginning to think enemies of, of this awful country might be people I would... Well, in all likelihood, these guys outside are not people I want to talk with. They'll kill us. But um, maybe by and large, other cultures are probably better than this one. So this room gave us nothing. But I mean, it must give us something. I must be missing something. I mean, of course. The Age of Cain. The Age of Cain? He thinks that he is such a unique military man that he deserves his own era of military history? So these are weapons from the Age of Cain? Cain. Well, the glass has been broken. Thadium particles detected. Fatality predicted in 45 seconds. Put it back! Oh no! Um. Warning. Thadium particles disintegrating. Fatality predicted in 30 seconds. What do we do? What do we Warning. do? Thadium particles disintegrating. Fatality predicted in 20 seconds. This is really bad! Warning. Thadium particles disintegrating. Fatality predicted in 10 seconds. <laughs> um. Pause! This is bad! This is bad! What could we possibly do with this thing? We're not allowed to drop it and run! It doesn't let you! You've got that special glow. Oh. They're game overs. I better start saving more often. Um, when did I last save? Exactly. When was the last time? Oh. Let's pretend the... Thadium incident didn't happen. Yeah, we need to get out of here before the barbarians bust in. Even if they're in the moral right, you know, they're... They're not going to uh, take too kindly to us, I think. I'm amazed that soldier was so casual about us. It's like, oh yeah, you know, some enemy who or somebody we don't recognize is in Kane's house. What's the big deal? So what I think's going on is that these suits of armor each correspond to a suit of armor in this palace. Because we're, there are suits of armors all over the place. And we can adjust the visors. So what I think is going on is that we need to have the visors be adjusted correctly for each suit of armor. Well, let's begin with the easy one. The uh, samurai looking armor. So, the mouth guard appears to be down. Um, that's kind of a visor. So let's take a look. Yes, we can adjust it. It's down, though. That's what we want it to be. Is that the kanji for fire? We just can't get a good look at it. Anyway. You know, say, I guess Kane, if nothing else, was at least a sort of cosmopolitan warrior. He clearly didn't discriminate on the nations that the of uh, the armor he collected originates in or originate in getting my plurals and singulars mixed up I'm going to be honest with you I can't even tell what I'm looking at here so we're gonna oh, hold on I see the two circle things so that's the one with the rather peculiar breastplate I remember that one I think the visor is down are most of these visors down or up? I... that visor appears to be up. It's sort of Roman armor. Um... There's the samurai armor. 
This one with the broad-brimmed hat, sort of Spanish-looking, although this man appears to be black. Um, in any case, I think that that... I mean, Spain's been a multicultural country for a long time, but anyway. Clearly there's no visor down on that guy, on this armor, which we can recognize as the one with the weird red puffy things. The, uh... I'm not sure what those are called. Maybe pantaloons? I don't know. The visor, the gold visor is down because it's gold. It's the best visor. Um, the armor with the womanly breasts, I think, has the visor down. The Roman armor and the puffy red armor have the visors up. Every other one has them down, so let's go hunt for them. And just to be sure, I'm going to repeat this again because I don't want to forget. Only the Roman armor and the puffy red armor have visors up. Let's go. Well, here's the suit of armor that got us in here to begin with. And as you can see, it does have womanly breasts. Visor is down. It's a very odd mechanism now when you think about it. So, is there some room or something that Kane can only access when he adjusts all the suits of armor? What a bizarre thing to put in your house. Or does he live here? Or is this just a temporary stay? I think he lives here. Because he has bedrooms here. But of course, even if he were just staying here is, um, not on a non-permanent basis, it would still be true that it would be difficult to navigate, and he would still be living here. So even if this isn't his only residence, he does live here. I think that's the gold, the gold visor, even though it doesn't look gold. In any case, there are only two where the visor needs to be raised, and I know that that wasn't one of them. I don't remember where all of the suits of armor were, though, but I don't believe there were any in rooms. I think they were all in corridors, I guess with the exception of the samurai armor. I remember the puffy red armor, though. I even commented on it. So puffy, so red, so marshmallow squish, and pillowy fresh. Here it is, the red puffy armor, with an Elizabethan collar, no less. What? Did I hear a door unlock? I'd say that's... I definitely did. The question is, where is it? Now, given the last incident, I think that it might be prudent to save right now. So, we're going to save this file as... Kane 500. Yeah. Okay, so what unlocked? Did it open these doors? No, these blast doors are still sealed. Probably for the best, given the blasting that's going on outside right now. Maybe the door in here has opened. So it has. Well... On the plus side, I don't think we can encounter anything too horrible in here. Uh, the active frickin' nuclear bomb he has just sitting around on his display notwithstanding. Because everybody here is already dead except that one soldier. This is from the Age of Barbarity, right? So those guys outside are using these. Even though we have- the, our soldier has a musket, I really don't think he's going to stand up that long against them. Wow, this place is dark. Uh... I guess we came up from these stairs there. Probably these doors are all sealed. Is this a jail? Well, I mean... Yes, clearly. How the heck deep does it go? Um... So those are the, these are those things where they put them in to humiliate them. Um, I forget what they're called. China had something similar, but it wasn't on legs. It didn't have a stand. It was just something they wore. And here we have a wheel. <laughs> Radio code, code 12, verify, code 12, verify.
This is a torture chamber. I'm gonna... I gotta say, Kane, you did have stuff to feel guilty about. I guess this is just normal for this day and age, but that doesn't mean I approve of it. Is this an Iron Maiden? Oh. It almost, uh, reminds me of amnesia. Although, in real life, I don't believe these things were ever actually used as a torture device. They were sort of made up later. Is, look at this thing, wouldn't that have been horrible to use on someone? But, uh... Clearly that's not true here on Zork. Kane, I don't believe, well, I do believe some people are beyond saving, but I don't think you are. You know, I believe people can change. Not that that can make up for what you've done here. It seems a little odd to have this here, given all the other things. There's a big difference between humiliation and tearing people's, you know, mutilating their bodies piercing into them with blades and breaking their spines. I would never double-cross the general. I didn't steal nothing. I see. I see. So his son stole some gunpowder, right? Did Kane suspect the soldiers, or did Lucian manage to get some of these troops over to his side? Were some of them sick of the old-fashioned brutality of Cain, and favored the young, well, frankly, better man that was Lucian. Although, even though Cain wanted Lucian to kill him, I think that, really, Lucian perhaps wasn't uh, such a good guy after all, but but Cain did love him. You saw how, how horrified Cain was that, that the nemesis killed his son, and I still think that, I guess maybe the nemesis made him see the sins of his own ways, because now he is seeing, now he is experiencing the horrors that he inflicted on others? I see the well, first of all I'm not even I don't want to imagine what exactly this thing did I'm sure it crushed some part of the body but uh we saw that list of codes on the easel in Lucian's room so that means that these here that the, the, they were tortured to reveal more code signals. So wait a minute. That means that, that these troops, these are Lucian's codes, right? So Lucian really was a man by his father's horrible old definition because he was plotting military maneuvers against his father. And his father caught on to it and began torturing soldiers to get the information out of them. His own soldiers! I suppose they probably knew the risks if they knew their commander, but... This is so horrible. And I missed what he said. Let's hear the rack again. Wait a minute. Can we not hear it again? Are you kidding me? You can only hear it once? Yeah, I don't know what that is. It sounded like code red, and it meant infiltrate. 
Oh my god, what is this thing? I have a bad feeling that these things here are for ha for a head. Oh my god! What the hell is- I don't want to know what that thing is! And hold on, I didn't- wait a minute, I didn't actually hear what he said again. <laughs> really, the audio throughout the game has been very quiet, um, to the extent that it's hard to hear them. But, I'm gonna say, well, whatever. This is bad. This place is bad. Kane, no wonder he kept this hid. No wonder he had this down here. Do you think Lucian knew about that system that he was using to hide all this? Lucian might have, actually. It certainly would help explain one of the reasons he hated his old man so much. I'm beginning to hate Kane. Look at the, the monstrous sins his ambition has led him to pursue. We have an assortment of torture instruments here. A cat of nine tails, a whip. I don't even want to- I don't want to take too close a look at this stuff. In any case, it would seem we now know what exact- Wait, what the hell? These are just straight up bones. No, 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 no! Leave me here to rot. Code number one is French. What the hell? Why did that guy just say one is build a bridge? That doesn't make any sense. He wasn't being tortured, or he really was, but they just left him here to rot. Cain left a man to just starve to death here, which is unforgivable. But I have to believe people can change. It's... I think Kane might have changed, but it took killing him. But really though, why did that guy just say, yeah, it just one is build a bridge? Did he just say that to himself like, man, oh, I'm so desperate to get out of here. By the way, one is build a bridge. Now how the heck do I get out of here? I want, I'm sick of this room. And I'm, I'm got enough codes already. Is this... Really, where's the exit? Here it is. I don't even want to imagine what we might find if we open these doors. Although we all know... Death. And if we just adjust the visor, this door would shut, right? So it would. We're leaving Kane's sins for the world to see. And you know, I think that those are the kanji ka for fire. Anyway, you think you probably have a kanji for like battle or something on it, but it's, it's fire. I think. I'm not exactly the kanji master. In fact, of course it doesn't say fire. What are the odds that this world would have the same writing system of uh, you know, it's the same Chinese characters as ours? Though given the infinite number of timelines, I suppose it's inevitable that somewhere along the line we would, um, uh, find out that, that there would be some dimension where they would be these things. So here's the Diablo Massacre. Or actually, hold on, I know what we need to do. We saw the attack plan in Kane's trunk, so we're gonna have to look at that attack plan, and then we're gonna have to, uh, follow the attack plan and tell the soldier through the communication system to follow the plan that was laid out in Kane's trunk. Wait, this isn't Kane's room. This is the, uh, you know, the sort of bar. Is that a jukebox? In any case, I have to say, you can easily imagine how Kane could be in there with the, with the troops. They're all drinking beer, betting on the pool games, the pool games that are played with the machine, so they're not really games at all. Um, let's see. 
Which one of these was it? The red one? No. Well, yes, it was the red one. But that wasn't the one I clicked on. So... We begin... Um... What do we do first? I think we start here. So... So build bridges. Um... Hold on, I'm gonna need to figure out what exactly the codes for all these things are, aren't I? Well, it's not exactly the most fun thing to do, but okay. Wait a minute though, hold on. If we're gonna send these code messages to that soldier, that means that these weren't code that were made up by Lucian, but just the codes that the Kane's army was already using. Unless Lucian had become the commander in charge of Iron Dune. But that couldn't have happened. Well, I mean, it could have, but I doubt it. But then, if... But then why was he torturing them? Why would he need them to, to tell them the code? Why would he torture them for that? They were his codes. Was he just... Breaking these men's souls and bodies for the hell of it? Oh my god. In any case... So... We build bridges. So that's... Code 1. And then... We... Split troops. Which is code... 9. And from there, one split troops decoys with powder, which is, um, I don't know which one that is. I think I'm going to have to look this up. Okay, um, according to the walkthrough, it is, the code that we need to input is 10, uh, 1... Nine, six, twelve. I think I could have figured that out, although it would take some trial and error because I have no idea what order these plans are meant to be done in. Um, but I understood the principle of what we need to do, and that's good enough for me. I'm gonna call this a victory. Well? Oh, Cain. Even Sophia wasn't such a good person, was she? Because she loved Cain. Whereas what I've seen of him here, I think that he's beyond contempt. Well, perhaps he realized that. He did seem the most mournful of all the... of all the alchemists. So, despite the ways that I've explained, this doesn't make any sense, really. Let's do it! So, first, they're going to, um, build a bridge. Or, hold on, I thought build a bridge was one. But it says, but the walkthrough says ten. Why would it start with ten? What? Hold on, this, wait. So ten is distraction. Okay, I get it, so the enemy is distracted, and then we build the bridges. I see. This really is a pretty advanced looking console. Or not really. It kind of reminds me of that thing that Gordon Freeman used to input bombing coordinates back in Half-Life. But I, I don't know. I think that my initial assumption that this was a medieval style setting is quite mistaken. Um, Clearly, they're at some higher stage of technological development. Or I shouldn't say higher, because that implies a clear progression. But you know what I mean. I guess that this might be enough to get those barbarians away from this place, so maybe we can ask that soldier outside some questions? I know we're here to get some kind of alchemical metal. But, well, who am I, what am I saying? The nemesis is out there in the image of the sun, and there's going to be an eclipse or something. This, we need to, we need to get on top of this as fast as possible. That did it. The 
enemy is retreating. Excellent plan. Iron Dune is secure. Repeat, Iron Dune is secure. Old soldier, over and out. He calls himself Old Soldier? Well, truthfully, I expect that Old Soldier is probably some kind of code name. In any case, I guess he wasn't the only soldier, because clearly they must have had troops stationed all around the desert. Also, I'm amazed at how efficiently they carried that out. That They did that in the seconds. Uh, but... I guess, then... Well, I don't know why exactly we did that. In any case, I think it's time to save. Kane 500, doubling up. I suppose we've done something. Maybe this soldier knows where the uh, metal is. Or what if the metal is the thadium? Maybe he can show us how to contain it or something? But clearly he wasn't the only soldier left, just the only soldier left at Iron Dune proper. There were other troops at the other parts of the desert who were able to so efficiently execute the plan. You're good soldiers. I don't know how you did it, but hallelujah. You're welcome. Really, I have to say, I am glad that more people didn't die, except lots of people died. They were just barbarians, so therefore their lives are less important to us because we're... that's the way society works. Um, but what are we going to do exactly? Like, what do we do from here? I don't feel like I'm any closer to locating this stone we need to take. Or this metal. Or the, I mean, it must be the thadium, right? But we can't just take it. It'll kill us. It'll kill all those soldiers outside, too. And while sometimes I think that this entire place should be wiped off the map forever. Ah, there are decent people in the world, too, even if Kane isn't one of them. Even if they only get to live their lives because of monsters like Kane on the margins. Uh, you... You have anything else to say, my saved man? No, where, where'd he go? They have these... Wait, did the barbarians also have rifles? Probably, in all likelihood, and would explain the sandbags. Although sandbags are good at absorbing any kind of, uh, blows. A tank? What the... Where'd that soldier go? Is he really okay with us just bursting into the tank like this? What do we got going on here? <laughs> Fuzzy dice and air fresheners. Well, hey, nice to know. So this is a nice tank you got here. Um, wait, they keep a calendar inside the tank? That's peculiar. It's very typical of a young men in a war zone to have a, you know, sexy lady kind of calendar. They, wait, do they just have a rake on the wall? Why? I mean, it's good to have around, I guess. And this thing. What? Not sure why that's there. Uh. A couple of axes. This mechanism here presumably controls the uh, mechanism locking them in place. Although then again, why is the latch there? Well, maybe you have to have it unlocked on this and then you have to turn the latch. It's like the latch is like a doorknob. Well, okay, what are these? Oh, this is the code that the billiards gave us, right? Darn straight it is. I'm glad that we're finally putting the billiard machine to good use. Although, where'd that soldier go? Shouldn't he be, like, stopping us? You'd think? Well, I guess not, um... Nothing? Nothing at all? Well, I guess maybe let's try this then, since I think I wrote down the code wrong originally. What are we putting this in for anyway? What do we expect to accomplish? 
Anything? What the heck is going on? Um, let's go check back on the billiards again, because I clearly wrote everything down wrong. I see. I wrote down the code all wrong originally. Well, that would explain some things, wouldn't it? Very well, here we are back inside the tank. And let's put in the actual code this time. It's really sort of ingenious that Kane made this mechanism that can hide the code on the billiard table. The problem, though, is that it would be very easy to corrupt just by shuffling the balls around once. Okay, I think that's the code. I'm checking the walkthrough again. So it turns out this is what we need to do. This is gonna- this is just great. You see this thing? Now, I don't know how this would ever have occurred to me, but it turns out the thadium from the exhibit is the fuel for the tank, and we need to put it in here. I guess that soldier is just- the old soldier is completely, utterly that irresponsible that he just doesn't care that we're climbing in and out of the tank over and over. He's probably- but where is he? What, did he just run off into the desert? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I guess I shouldn't be criticizing him for having a suicidal spirit, given what, given what we're about to do, okay? Oh boy, the age of Cain. Well, there'll be Cain to pay, I'll tell you what. Woo! This is gonna be intense, guys. Thadium particles detected. Fatality predicted in 45 seconds. That's why we gotta go out of here. So now they actually have turned, um, trying to figure out which direction you're facing into an actual obstacle. Warning. Thadium particles go. disintegrating. Fatality go. predicted go. in 30 seconds. Oh, fucking hell. Which way are we fate? We got turned around. Warning. Thadium particles disintegrating. Fatality I know. predicted in 20 seconds. But don't worry, it's fine. This th w there's a container here that'll cool it down. Warning. It'll be great. Thadium particles disintegrating. Fatality predicted in Put 10 it in. seconds. Put it in! Put it in! Why aren't you putting it in? I'm hitting the button! You've got that special. What the hell? Okay. It turns out that to work as fuel, you have to put the thadium into this thing. So that was my mistake. Well, thadium let's do it. Particles detected. Put it in, put Fatality it in! Fatality predicted in Th 45 seconds. There you seconds. go. Good job. Now take this thing, and let's get the heck out of here. And we gotta be swift on our feet or we're gonna be dead. No screw-ups, or we're dead. Warning, I mean, that's warning, true more broadly, because of the, of the nemesis. To distance immediately. Repeat, evacuate to safe distance immediately. Fatal um, radius five miles. Yeah, it's definitely a dangerous element, and it seems to me to be really dangerous to use as fuel, uh, for reasons I would hope that are obvious, because, like, five miles. Thadium contained. Threat averted. Can you imagine it? Every time they reload the tank, there's a chance that they'll blow up everything for miles around. That's not just reckless, it's... It's monstrously reckless. It's one thing to be irresponsible, and it's another thing to put that many people's lives in danger through your irresponsibility. It's, it's incredible. It's unconscionable. Much like everything about Kane. Well, given that his namesake is the father of crime, perhaps it shouldn't be that surprising. Alright, now we're driving the tank. Or is the tank driving itself? Maybe these, what we put in here, are some kind of coordinates. And, like, the tank is just driving to them? Well, we can't get out here. What?
Oh no, we're not out of fuel, are we? In the middle of the day. Or wait, hold on, no, no. We just need to put in the other code from the billiard table, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, wait a minute, what? Oh, I see. This is the wrong code because I put in the right code on a different save file. So, 741953. 741953, yeah? So, now, I see, without the right coordinates, this tank would have steered you to, uh... Wait, what the heck? This tank is moving really, really quickly. I'm sort of astonished it went as quickly as it did. Oh, I see. So it's designed, if you put in the code, to just immediately go to this barracks, huh? What do we got here? Well, clearly some sort of alchemical book with a card in it. It looks like some sort of, perhaps, security card, but we're not able to take it. We're saving again. Because, you know, at this point, all I can say for sure is, uh... That it's clearly been demonstrated I should always save. So here is some sort of military vehicle. What the heck? Really, one of these is their interface? Oh, I see, we can swap any of them, so it's not quite what I expected. Well, I mean, okay. Wait, huh? Why can't I switch them? Is there a certain rule? Oh, maybe I can't switch them because one of them is in the right... Huh? Wait, what? Can I not move these? I thought I was just moving them a second ago. Weird. Well, we'll leave that vehicle be for now. Not sure why we would care about it anyway. Wait, is this a lift? It is. I guess we're gonna see what's Unprotected here in the basement. personnel prohibited. Please leave immediately. What? What is this? Well, I just saved, so... Huh? What the heck? Now, I probably shouldn't just hit random buttons in all honesty. What on earth is this? We don't want to mess with this until we understand what it is, or it could kill us. There's also an odd meter here, rainbow in color. And then we have this mechanism. What's this stuff around us? Is it... steaming rock? He was, after all, the fire alchemist. Wait, what? Hold on, I saw, I saw the icon chain. Yeah. Uh... Okay. I see that it says box fan on it. Hold on. Yeah, here it says arm fan, but now it says box fan. That's really weird. I think that we're beginning to hallucinate. Not that it's that surprising, all things considered. One uh, this in fatal exposure predicted in 60 seconds. Please leave oh. immediately. What the heck? Fatal? Sure. O okay. What, where's that voice coming from? Are we wearing some sort of power suit? I'm gonna think the answer is yes, but whatever that stuff is, like if it's radiation and it's gonna kill us in 60 seconds, we're already dead. The tumors, that, that stuff gave us, you know, you, you, we'll never recover. In any case, why can we look at this? It seems so totally irrelevant because we're not allowed to look at it any more closely than this. It's odd that these two pages look so much more old and tattered than the rest of the book, however. 
Um, what will this vehicle do? I feel like it'll do something. Or is this even a vehicle? Actually, hold on. No, I'm totally wrong. This is a machine. You see, there are gears, and this is some sort of control panel. What? What the heck is this? We didn't finish the puzzle, but we got a thing out of this? I've never heard of a proper, you know, what kind of military is this? Having a mechanism that takes puzzle pieces, but doesn't... That, that dispenses puzzle pieces, where you gotta solve the puzzle, but you don't have to solve the puzzle? I don't know, I don't know, this whole operation is beginning to seem seedier every second. Let's see if we can input this into the... Unprotected personnel prohibited. Please leave immediately. Well, I don't know what we should put this into. Maybe this? No, we don't have it anymore. It's like the it's like the saw. Let's uh, get out of here. Huh? What the heck? Okay, so it does something. What, I don't know, but something. Okay, you know what? Let's get out of here because it's about to tell us again that we're unprotected personnel and we're going to die. I swear, everything is out for us. At this point, I, I'd say what else could go wrong, but it's really... Quite recently, things began going this wrong for us. Initially, we were tearing through those puzzles to save the alchemists. I guess the joke's on us because these people are terrible people, huh? Well, I stand by what I said. They didn't deserve what the nemesis did to them. Nobody does. What is this thing, though? Uh huh. Oh! I see how this works. Okay. How about we make this into. Actually, what am I doing? Why would I make it into this symbol of Venus? This is Mars. Let's make it into the symbol of Mars. That is this fellow's seal. Isn't it? I suppose even before he was, um. The alchemist he is today, or was. How about this? Huh? Nothing? Nothing from the Thadium machine, really? Okay, fine. Whatever. I think I may have caused a bug. I don't think I was supposed to be able to pull the lever yet. Let's try this again. We'll create the symbol of Mars. Which, contrary to what I earlier said, I think I'm mistaken and it's actually he was not the fire one. I believe he was the earth one. I remember this because he was, I thought it was ironic that he was associated with earth given that he's associated with Mars. All right. Well, here's our mold now. So that's good, right? Of course it's good. You're darn right it's good. And next, I don't want it to get it out of my sight or I'm afraid I'll screw up and it'll break. We're gonna go down to here. Okay, so I, yeah. Unprotected personnel yeah, unprotected. prohibited. I know. Please leave but this is what I gotta do, because otherwise, if I don't do this, uh There we go. I like that little dinging noise. Iron See? at optimal processing what I tell consistency. You? Systems check affirmative. All right, so put it there. Next, um take the arm. 
Arm, you take that. You take it out. Next, the fan. We'll cool it off. And next, we'll take this. Right? What the heck? Take it! Huh? It just gets worse and worse. Worse and worse. Oh. Wait a minute. Those broken metal shapes we saw in the lab that we couldn't touch because they had a spell cast on them. They were the original metals, right? So that means we're going to have to forge new ones. Thanks a lot, Nemesis. But if the worst thing you did was inconveniencing me, then... Well, you wouldn't be an irredeemable monster, would you? What the heck is this? Was that a vision of Cain's death? The nemesis just... stabbed him in the throat? But then what was going on with their bodies here? The nemesis was human. It looked like it was turned into a man for a moment before the... it was formed into that ball. Now you've seen everything I had. An army. Vast lands, unimaginable wealth, and my son, Lucien. I see it so clearly now. I was wrong. I thought Alexandria was just an impulse for him, a bed sport. You see, I had plans for him. I didn't understand this. Love. He spoke up. I have fought many battles in my life. I have suffered defeat, and I have survived. But the murder of my son, and my own guilt, this I can barely survive. Give me a chance to make amends. Let me bring back my son from the grave. Finish gathering the metals and help us create the Philosopher's Stone. Please. I see. So that's what we'll do with the Philosopher's Stone. I suppose it's unavoidable that we'll bring these people back to life too. Huh. Dressed as a soldier to the end. Well, back to the planetarium, I guess. So, I guess that was Mers. Which one of these deities was it again? Ah, there. Mers. Wouldn't look out of place. There's a statue in his palace there. I guess it just goes to show that war doesn't pay. Or something like that. So the nemesis is temporarily the model's son in this... In this place, huh? I guess so. Well, before we accidentally brought ourselves to Iron Dune, so let's see where we can accidentally bring ourselves this time.
Did I break it? Did I break it? I think I broke it. Yeah. Yeah, I broke it. 